that's your SEG container. Um, continuing to count by ones uh, brings another individual up. Once you bring one more, all of a sudden we move it over to a group of four, which is uh, a square container. We can continue to do it this way, as you notice the coming in singly. She's actually counting right now. By continuing to push on the one, the device is counting. And then once you get up to the cube, which is your fourth place value. Well, let me turn them all on here for those. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and turn on. I'll them. just operate so, it. You can, so there are your four well, primary shapes. Yes. So as you, as you notice here, you have the, the ones, the segs, squares, cubes. Then we have a seg of cubes. So it's not some, uh, what, what did you call that? Cooper, the some the, in the fourth um, dimension. These two, if you look at oh, the tesseract. Everybody thinks the shape that comes after a cube is a tesseract. Uh, I was taught that because we were taught on dimensions. Uh, the trouble is, in reality, the dimension folds over on itself. And here you see, I'm going to put up the unit cube, and you see the seg of cubes, which is what its little name is, a seg of cube. It's it's a two it's a unit it's a little segment, um, and when we get out to the to the full cube of an object, you can see that that relationship to the next one is identical. It's a seg of cubes. So you see the seg of cubes is to the cube like the seg is to the unit cube. They look identical. In fact, if we continue just examining that pattern. We'll see that it repeats again. There is another cube. That's a cubic cubes. And there it is again. There's a seg of cubic cubes. And it actually, I think we end up with one more. That's a cubic cubic cubes. And if we had one more, if I had one more place value or shape value, I'd have the seg of cubic cubes. So all that to say, if you look over at the slide, that's our regular decimal system. Those are our place values. Um, but that doesn't necessarily hold true in all the bases. So um, this is where we currently are in our math education system. Um, but we can, uh, yeah, there's a, <laughs> there's a bunch of problems with that because it's so decimal centric to a base 10. Whereas with um, subquan, it becomes shape centered. And so if you look over here on the slide, you'll see that same chart all set up with with the names of the different shapes. And notice how they repeat. So we're running a little. No, we're right on time. Are we, okay. We're doing OK? That's part okay, of it, I think, right where we got. OK. Does everybody so, see that pattern? The type nano Y if you see the pattern. If we start with the unit cube, it just goes cube, seg, square. Then it repeats, cube, seg, square. Then it repeats. It's where we put our comma in the decimal system. But the decimal system is so bigot, bigotry. I mean, it's just, it's just focused on 10, and there's absolutely no reason, none in the brain, definitely, to do that. And people said, well, we have 10 fingers. Oh, yeah, well, I count up to 1,023, so maybe we should have focused on the 1,000, you know, 24 system and the binary system. Um, I, you know, it just it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. And it turns out as you talk about other numbers, it doesn't help you to know that they're thousands or the hundreds. It's a, it's a learned, it's contrived. And yet here are these shapes. It turns out as we move into the next session, that shape is going to be extremely helpful to understanding 
numbers as you go into place shapes. The place shape is going to be so fundamental to helping you understand bigger numbers. Absolutely. So in conclusion of this session, I'd like to stress again a cognitive shift, exactly as Cooper just mentioned, from place value to place shape, because that's honestly the way that our eyes work. Numbers become recognizable in any container size. That means subquanting in any base. And numbers can be described using color, single digits, and shape. Uh, so before we take our first bio break, make sure that you get your gift from Cooper. If you would like a set of the hands, you can always go back to our poster session and play with our one there. Uh, and we have them up at our various displays if you've got the note card from the from the welcome mat at, at the entrance, the little green mat by, on, off the right of the stage. Um, because honestly, if you're going to learn to count, learn to count to a thousand on your fingers with the hands. So I think I had one more slide. Was it? Oh, I was going to go back to. Nope. Ah, that's what I was going to do. Um, so there is a little bit more contact in.